If little prophets that an idle king, by this still hearth among these barren crags matched with an aged wife, I meet and dole unequal laws unto a savage race that hoard and sleep and feed and know not me. I cannot rest from travels, I will drink life to the lees all times I have enjoyed. Greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and ashore, and when through scudding drifts the rainy Hyades vex the dim sea. I am become a name, for always roaming with a hungry heart. Much have I seen and known cities of men, and manners, climates, councils, governments. Myself, not least but honoured of them all, and drunk delight of battle with my peers far on the ringing plains of windy Troy. I am a part of all that I have met. It all experience is an arch where through gleams the untravelled light, the margin fades for ever and for ever when I move. How dull it is to pause, to make an end, to rust unburnished, not to shine in use as though life, life piled on life for all too little, and of one to me little remains. But every hour is saved. From that eternal silence, something more, a bringer of new things, and violet were, and some three suns to straw and hoard myself, and this grey spirit yearning in desire to follow knowledge like a sinking star, beyond the utmost bound of human thought. This is my son, my known Telemachus, to whom I leave the sceptre in this isle. Well loved of me, discerning to fulfil this labour by slow prudence, to make mild and rugged people, and through soft degrees subdue them to the useful and the good. Most blameless is he, centred in the sphere of common duties, decent not to fail in offices and tenderness and pay, meet adoration to my household gods. When I am gone, he works his work, I mine. There lies the port, the vessel puffs her sail. There, uh, there gloomed the dark, broad seas, my mariner's souls that have roiled and thought and tortured me, that ever will a frolic welcome took, the thunder and the sunshine and opposed, free hearts, free foreheads, you and I are old, old age of yet our honour and our toil. Death closed all, but something ere the end, some work of noble note may yet be done, not unbecoming men that strove with gods, the lights begin to twinkle from the rocks, the long day wanes, the slow moon climbs the deep, moans round with many voices. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world, push off, and sitting well in order's might, the sounding burrows for your purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the bards of all the western stars until I die. It may be that the gulfs will wash us down. It may be that we shall touch the happy isles and see the great Achilles whom we knew. Though much is taken, much abides, and though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, when which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek to find, and not to yield.